just where my mind's stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. There we go, now I can hear you better. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. Yeah. Well Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I know too, like that's the one thing comic shops are kinda mad about is that they, they like the way the system is set up now because it is all done through one company you know you you put in all your orders in through one company you don't have to now what i guess shops are complaining is that okay well now i have to put in my orders with them and then now i have to go to a totally different other and then the shipping costs too because now they're going to have two different shipping costs yeah yeah exactly because you're buying just from one yeah so Mm -hmm. oh. oh oh okay <laughs> all right good i was about i was checking it out now too as well hey leo how are you doing oh i did see that they they added a couple new anime today they added that uh pokemon journeys which actually is pretty cool i liked it let's watch a little bit of it yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah i i need to check out yeah one piece i mean we'll see maybe that it's on there we'll see maybe maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friend told me the same thing. Yeah, no, my friend said the same exact thing. He's like, you just start on episode one. I'm like, no, I can't do that though. He's like, um, he's like, Mm 
Mm -hmm. Which is finally coming back. It was okay, yeah. I know, they still want more, I know. <laughs> Oh, oh, much, much. That Broly. The costume designs are awesome too. I really like their their spazzy jackets that they were wearing. I want I wanted one. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, let's talk a little bit, I guess, about the game since that was kind of the biggest thing that kind of was talked about this weekend. And I actually got to watch pretty much a lot of the releases, um, even some of the, I don't, you know, some of the ones I don't think they talked about in the big show. Uh, but there's some really cool games coming out, that's for sure. Um, they're bringing. Yeah. 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 Hey, mm -hmm. Um. Well, what were one of your uh, big ones that I guess that you were excited for? Oh yeah. Every. It, uh. Oh, is that the? Let's see, I. I don't think I've seen that one now that you're bringing that one up. No, hold on. Journey. Huh. Oh, Horizon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, yeah, it was... Yeah, that... Yeah, did you play the first one? Yep. Yep, this is a sequel, yeah, to this one, yeah, for sure. And it's a, uh, I didn't get to play the first one either, cause like uh, I'm mostly just Xbox as well. So, and um, maybe I'll get to play the new one, but we'll, we'll see about that. But uh, yeah, I when they first the when they showed the first one, I remember when that was released. Yeah, it's really like stunning, you know, like the world, how they just build this awesome, you know, how the animals are kind of just these robotic living animals, and the it's kind of an apocalyptic world. But then, yeah, it looks great. You'll I think you would really enjoy it. I, I know a lot of people like the first one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think you'll like it, because uh, I know people praise the first one. Ah, okay. Yeah, there was a...
<laughs> yeah, no, that did look good. I did. Uh, I know some, you know Resident Evil fans were especially happy <laughs> for that one. Um, yeah, I was kind of excited to check out that Ratchet and Clank game, though. That one looked pretty cool to me. Uh, I never really played the Ratchet and Clank games either again. Um, so I kind of want to check this one out. And uh, yeah, now Demon Souls, I especially want to try because I have, I, you know, I've, I love Dark Souls. And Demon Souls was the first game they ever started with that got them on the map. And uh yeah, I would love to try it, you know, so um, I don't know if they're going to, you know, change a little bit of some, maybe improve the controls, uh, who knows what, what they'll do, or if it's just going to be a direct port. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, they didn't tell us too much of uh, what they're doing, so we'll have to see uh, if it's just like you said, yeah, uh, just a port, and that's it. Nothing's been changed, a little bit of graphics uh, being updated, and maybe cutscenes being updated as well. I know they'd like to do that as well. Uh, for some games um let's see uh which one was another oh the one i was excited for i think it was called uh was it called god slayer godfall there we go that's what it was godfall um it was the one about the use you, you, uh you play as like a uh, kind of like that, yeah. You play as a uh, a knight, and then and then there's like four elements. <laughs> it's the uh, fire, wind. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that, yeah. Pretty much like that kind of brawlerish style. Um, it looks and it looks really fun. Uh, graphics again look beautiful. The world looks gorgeous. Um, so yeah, and it looks fun to play. So. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you wanna, yeah, you wanna, yeah, yeah, exactly. Want to show what it can do. Yeah. Well, they did. Yeah, I think they're still kind of keeping things hush hush because I I was watching a little bit of some of the IGN videos and they were interviewing some of the developers because there was actually a couple games like I said that they didn't show on the show, um, and I was watching some of that stuff and you know they asked those questions you know like hey well what is your game you know gonna do like what does the new console do to enhance your game and whatever and a lot of them you know kind of had said you know can't really discuss that just yet so uh, you know I. Yeah, yeah. So well, I don't know if they're kind of just going to spread this out, though, you know? Like, I don't know if they want to just throw everything all at once, and they're kind of... Now, you know, there is no E3 or Gamescom or anything now. They're kind of... Yeah, that's nice. So, I mean... I know, I haven't... I'm kind of... Well, I mean, they did have their show... When was it? I think... Oh, my gosh, that's like three weeks ago now? Uh, and I did watch a couple of things that they had. The one game I was excited for them was uh, Scorn. Did you check that one out? And this one they've been talking about for the longest time. I think this has been in development for a few years now. And um, But the Scorn one, what really is making me want to play that one so much is it has so much um, feel of uh, the artist to um, – the guy who did the art for uh, the Alien and Alien, the movie – uh, um, I can't, you know, he's a German artist, and he just has very, not provocative art, but it's just very, I don't know, out there. <laughs> so, and it, and it, and it, and it feels like that for sure. It feels like his just, they literally somebody took his art and made it into a video game. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to play this. <laughs> so it, it looks cool. That one, uh, that one looked fun. Um, but I did know, yeah, they showed a little bit of Xbox, but uh, yeah, like I said, there hasn't been too much now, uh, being dropped as well for it. Um, so I'm curious about what's going to be happening here in the next coming weeks here. Um, I hope that, yeah, there is more things being talked about these new gen stuff, because like you said, it's really going to be, uh, this holiday 2020.
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know, let's see there was a couple other games too uh outlast i guess uh trials is coming that was a new one right because they did just they did do a second one i played the first one but i never did get to play the or sorry the first one sorry but i never got to play the second one um yeah hitman was good uh mortal shell was another game i was excited for um you'll have to look that up i don't think that i showed that gameplay at the actual conference um but that one i i only followed because i only knew about it because they it came up on my facebook page randomly one day and uh it was their facebook page and i it looked it really reminded me of dark souls but it just it, but it's very more i don't know it just feels the game i don't know the controls and the gameplay looks very different and feels different to me uh or not feels but like looks different to me at least because i haven't played the game but um it just yeah it does look a little bit different gameplay style than dark souls but it is kind of a little dark showish to me <laughs> so that one that one was cool um let's see uh there was another game i was yeah godfall like you said mafia uh, again, I've never really played the Mafia games. The sound, they always just reminded me like of the Grand Theft Auto or any of those other kind of games. Ah. Uh, one that really was cool to me was uh, West uh, to Dead. You should check that one out. I think that was only an Xbox exclusive, though. Um, looked really fun. Uh, you're, you know, it wasn't really focused. This is a game that wasn't really focused on, you know, pretty graphics and everything. It's, uh, looks like it's an indie game. Um, but it looks fun. It looked really like an enjoyable, fun game. And the story looks pretty cool. The fight the yeah, it actually comes out, uh, I think today. Yeah, I think it drops today. Yeah, so that's no today, right? 18? Oh, no, death. sorry. Um, I got, oh my gosh, I got my days all mixed up. <laughs> so yeah, couple, uh, four days, so you get to play that game, so I'm actually probably going to pick that up. It looks fun. But a few folks are looking... Yeah, it's just about the game playing, you know, too. And yeah, I like the, I like the, the style they're going for. Yeah, that kind of cartoonish vibe for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, people people already kind of complained at the very beginning because they already said they were like, well, how, how are you guys going to, you know, keep us keep coming back? And they kind of, you know, they, they assured us that they were going to keep us coming back. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I think they I think they learned from, <laughs> from uh, Turtle. Mhm. Mm Well, it's, it's what sounded like a cool concept, you know, you're a monster and there is, you can evolve and all this cool stuff and yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what it was, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you know, too, I think people were going to thought it was going to do good, too, because it's the guys from Left 4 Dead, the Turtle Rock, right? Is that the developer's uh, name? Yeah, it was. It should be Turtle Rock, I think, is the developer. And you would assume they would have, you know, done a pretty good job, but... Oh yeah, that was... Mm -hmm. yeah it's 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 a terrible thing but you know and then it sucks when games you know you want them to do good and you, they they make they make it all hyped up and everything and all that but there's another example is anthem you know anthem was another game that came out and it, it was they hyped it up so much and people were so excited for it you know because there was going to be the next kind of destiny kind of game and and yep but you know i gotta give no man uh who is a hello world i can't remember their developer's name but yeah yeah it did but like i said i give them props for keeping up with it you know and actually max giving us what we wanted Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, no. The new update uh, they just did for this year uh, got a lot of fans flocking back to it um, because they actually fixed. It's actually the game that they advertised <laughs> now at this point, which it which sucks. I I pff, I can't even remember that one. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. No. And they mm -hmm. No, okay. <laughs> I actually was playing it last night or the other day because uh it it just got released on Game Pass. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Exactly. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see what else I had on my list here. So I know that they were talking about a game called Ghostwire, which looked pretty cool. Um, um, oh, the Little Devil uh, Inside looked pretty good. I think that was an Xbox exclusive as well. Um, you have to probably look that up. The gameplay uh, for Samurai Jack looked pretty fun. They uh, showed that as well. Uh, you have to probably look that up too. Uh, but it looks enjoyable. I really want to. I can't wait to play that game too. Really? I didn't. Oh. Huh. Kind of fun. It looked fun. I mean, yeah, it looked pretty cool. Um, oh, the one that looked kind of out there was the Destruction All Stars. Did you see that one? That one's uh, that one looked pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't know how good that will do. Who knows? Maybe it'll be the next Rocket League. I, I, I'm, you know, who knows? Who knows what I'm gonna say? Yeah, yeah. Um, another one that I was excited for was Kenya, Bridge of Spirits. It uh, had that Studio Ghibli feel to me. Um, so that one I was also very excited for. Um, oh, I can't believe they're bringing this back. I was wondering whenever they would do one again, but they're finally going to do it. They're doing a new uh, Odd World. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looked good though. It looked very cool. They're going back to the the classics because I remember the last one that they ever did was uh, from when it finally got to Xbox when they first came out the Xbox 360 or maybe it was for Xbox. I can't even remember now. Uh, but there was that Odd World and Munchie game. That one was pretty good, and that one was like a open, not open world, but it was a uh, adventure kind of game. Three, three. Um, what's the word I want to use? Um, not first person, but a uh, third person view for the whole game. And uh, that one was different. This one's going back to the roots, where it's kind of like you know you're just kind of si not side scrolling, but you're just kind of going you know just one direction the whole way, and you kind of have to solve the puzzles and stuff like that. Um, so uh that looked pretty cool and but they just made it you know they've updated it you know it's not the same like that they've added it looks like they've added a few different mechanics into it to make it more modernized and more fun so it looked cool um i might check that one out um let's see solar ash was another one that i was kind of excited for um like you said demon souls did you see the game called stray where you play as a cat <laughs> I actually kind of excited for that as well. Um, it looked pretty cool, uh, interesting. So we'll see that. Um, like I said, Hitman's coming out. Um, those are always fun, of course. Um, let's. Yeah, um, Sackboy, which I find kind of an interesting title, but Sackboy: A Big Adventure, which is a uh, little big planet game. Um, but it's not kind of being that same type of style of Little Big Planet. Um, this one's more of, it looks like it's focused on just more of a one story and you just do kind of, it's a linear kind of game, it looks like to me. So we'll see. Um, more for the kids, which is fine, understandable. Um, again, uh, Spider Man looked really gorgeous, yo. <laughs> that looks like, that, that like, I heard it's a just DLC though. It's not gonna be a full game. I heard it's just an expansion of the first game. Is what I've been hearing. <laughs> as long as it's good and then we get to play as Miles, I'm all up for it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, that that Marvel Avengers game isn't looking promising to me, so I don't know. <laughs> it, it... Well, I don't know why they, I don't know, Bandai's okay, but like, they're, I don't know. They're okay at some things. They do okay things. Well, they're the ones that do all our Kingdom Hearts stuff and everything. Um, but like I said, they have their own kind of style, you know, and it's that's and they can only do you know certain kind of games. And I think this is the game they should have not given them to do because this is not their their forte. Is what I'm trying to say on there. They should have gave it to somebody else who. I don't know. It it feels very square ink inksy to me. <laughs> Every time I look at it, they even had to fix the designs for the characters because they even they even looked too like I don't know. They just uh, they didn't look like Thor. They didn't look like they didn't look like you know my Captain America or I don't know. So we'll we'll see. I know they had to change a lot of the character designs now because there was some complaints on that too. So um, I don't know. So I think that's supposed to drop when this this month in September. Okay, okay. We just have Last of Us, right? That's the big game that comes out this month. Yeah, I've been hearing some half and half. Some hate it, and some are loving it right now. So I don't know. We'll see about that too. That one took a while as well to get. How long did we wait to get the second one? Yeah, because we got it on the PS3, right? Last of Us. Yeah, I don't think it did come out for the 4. Or it probably was a game that you could probably play on your 4. Yeah, see, so it's, it's been a while. I mean, that's pretty... I mean, it's, I mean, it's around the time. But it's still long. Yeah. 
And yeah, and then you expect them if they're gonna take that long, they're gonna do good, you know. Hmm. Yeah, especially all you're really having to do is just add more different mechanics into your second game. You really... Yeah, which with the first one was yeah pretty much the same thing. I love the story in The Last of Us. It was very, very, very good. Um, that's That's one of those times where I just, you know, I love video games and I love that I get to play those kind of stories and stuff, you know, and you can't get that kind of... Those those you know kind of emotional stories like that all the time on just TV, um, so it's pretty. And then it's which makes it more even more I guess emotional is that like you feel like you're that character you know because you're playing you know you're this character and whatever and all that stuff. So yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> I felt the same thing like when we were playing Red Dead uh, Two, you know. Um, after you're playing the guy, and then he starts getting the tuberculosis, and you're like, "Damn it, no, bro, you can't get it, you can't get it." <laughs> so yeah, um, those uh, yeah, those are all cool. Red Dead was another very good story. I love the Red Dead too. That was uh, one of my top games. Um, it's... yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, let's see, there was a couple other things that look okay, uh, Spell Breaker was something that was coming out, uh, Bl Blancos, which was kind of a weird one, Blancos Block Party, um, you play as these vinyl head, um, kind of collectibles, <laughs> and you play like these, I don't, I don't know how to say, you just play, yeah, so we'll see, um, I, the guy, you know, so he, can, he, with the, his idea was, because I heard a little bit of the interview, the developer had came up with it because they're like, well, you know, whether whether you're because there's so many Funko Pops and people collect all these stuff, and they're like, well, what do they do? And you know, it's the same thing like Toy Story. What do they do when you're not in the room? <laughs> well, they're doing this. <laughs> they're having a big block party, <laughs> jumping around, fucking doing games and shit and all this other stuff. So. I don't know. Um, that one looked interesting. I did see a little bit of the gameplay for that. Um, let's see what we else we have here. Uh, I think that's kind of the big ones, really, was we kind of went over those ones. Um, Gran Turismo 7. Never really played those too much, but I'm pretty sure there, that there's a lot of people excited for that. Um, and uh, I think that's, yeah, pretty much on my list here. Uh, is there any games that you kind of, you said you were excited for? Yeah, I, I said I did see they had the PC gaming show, didn't they? Huh? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause then you just throw it on Steam and then people just play it. <laughs> um. <laughs> mhm mm hmm hmm <laughs> Well, the, so, and what was your, uh, what did you think of the design of the PS5 now? <laughs> I, I, they for sure went outside the box, I'll, you know, like, out the normal.
Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's cool for, you know, for them. I just, it's going to look very, uh, out. that's what I'm saying. It's going to, it's going to look very out there, you know, because you're going to, you're going to see it as soon as you walk into the house, you'll be like, there it is right there. Shiny as bright ass white with the weird ass blue. <laughs> oh, I seen that one. I seen that one. My my favorite one was somebody put the the PS5 on sales. Uh, for <laughs> there's a there's a lot of good ones. Um, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, if they ended up finding that it, this is a good design for them, and that's why the way they went with it, okay, I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, we'll see. It is what it is now. Um then I so what do you think though that they're doing a discless version too, which is the all digital version? Is that no? Not really, no. But is it really worth it, you know, to save fifty dollar difference, you know, from <laughs> Yeah, I mean but then the thing the thing is I think that I would want to have the disc version because at least then I would get my uh you know the 4K Blu-ray player with it which you know are already still kind of expensive in them days. Are they starting to go down now? I know they were get they were up there for a little bit. Okay, cool. That's good. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 The only reason why now I I only buy sometimes on some games with discs is that, you know, if I my internet goes out for whatever reason, but then I think too, I think they have a way where you can set your Xbox. Like, yeah, I was gonna say you can set it at the home console. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Mhm. Mm <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I guess that's the only thing people complain about is that. It's just like, you know, well, if some shit like that happened. But then, I guess, yeah. And then you lose your license there, so. Because that's all it's doing, it's just making sure you have the license on the disc, and then boom, that's it. Yeah, yeah, and then more storage. I just, I don't like all having all that storage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah. I mean, I still watched some stuff in Blu-ray because I do like to watch a little bit better my quality in some things. And then, But then now, like you said, nowadays everything's being streamed in 4K. Yeah, everything's getting in 4K streaming. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, I, I've heard that the bookshop has this new thing that they, uh, I forget, I'll have to look it up for you. I think it's called bookshop.com, <laughs> but they just invented it, This these guys. Um, it's now a online uh, store for the bookshops. To all, all they have to do is just create an account. And then these the people go ahead and look for whatever they're looking for. And then what's also cool is that the books don't even have to get shipped to the bookstore. They actually just get shipped from the actual warehouse or wherever the, the books are being stored at. I forget what they where their the location's at, but and then they just ship them from there to you and then that they get a share of that uh, purchase to the bookstore. So, you know, if you want to help bookstores without doing Amazon, because I, I know Amazon takes a lot of that that profit. So, but I heard that they be after they just opened this up, they took a lot of their Amazon sales. So they're they're like, yeah, we were very happy about that. They said they're like we didn't think it was gonna be that good, but they they said within two weeks they were like, yeah, we're taking about I can't I'll have to give you the numbers, but they were taking a pretty good chunk of uh yeah Amazon's book sales now. <laughs> Yeah, and I understand that too, you know. I, I like to go see my stuff. And the same thing when I go see my comics. I like to, you know, browse, you know, look, okay, and stuff. And, you know, actually look in hand and maybe look through the pages and be like, yeah, this looks pretty cool. I'll pick it up. Or, you know, you don't get to do that stuff online. <laughs> uh, well. Was there any? Yeah, that's gonna say. Is there anything else that you wanted? So we, I mean, we talked pretty much about all the games that are coming out. Um, oh, Bill and Ted. Did you see the trailer for that? Oh, you gotta watch the trailer. It, it looked, it looked pretty cool. There was some. Did you see? Yeah, when they're all buff in the prison in the gallery. Okay, yeah, you seen it then. Yeah. So it, it looked pretty cool, and it it was really funny just to hear Keanu Reeves. Uh, do with the uh, yeah, bro, <laughs> kind of voice again. <laughs> so it was cool. Yeah, I like the what? Yeah, because you're just looking at them. They're so old, and Keanu Reeves is over here still doing the yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's still coming to theaters. They pushed it even a week ahead of time from when it was supposed to come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, can't, can't, you know, got to live your life for a little bit, you know, can't. <laughs> so I I'm for sure probably gonna go you know see Bill and Ted at theaters because I for one am a Bill and Ted fan and I have never seen a Bill and Ted movie in theaters so I am gonna go see a Bill and Ted movie in theaters <laughs> so uh, Just with my mind, stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, just a